Hi guys, Jess here. So I found this super cute um, circle cutout that I must have done ages ago when I was able to borrow a girlfriend's silhouette machine and I was just going crazy and cutting a whole bunch of free um, silhouette files off the internet. So I thought I'd have a little bit of a play. So I'm just working inside a box to have less mess and less cleanup. And I've got an aqua pen and a palette of watercolors and I am simply grabbing the colors and splashing them on. No real rhyme or reason to it. I'm sort of trying to match um, shades up together, you know, as if it was flowing into each other, but not too bad because if I do that then I'll never get to um, use any of sort of like green and blue, uh, sorry, green and red don't really flow into each other but they're complementary so pop those in together anyway because um, I want to try and get a bit of every single colour out onto the circles here. The same with yellow and blue, like they don't really need to go together but it works. Thinking about my colour wheel, complementary colours. Um, so I'm just chucking things on, mixing them up a little bit. I realise there's no purple on my palette, so just mixing the pink and blue together on top of the pink as we go, and that kind of, the more I dip my pen back into it, the, again, it changes the colour. So just having a play, really, filling this scene as much as I can. As it sort of starts to dry, I notice some of the colours fading a little bit, so I just go back over them again to try and make them a little bit brighter, a little bit more um, uh, visually pleasing, I suppose, a little bit more intense. I am not doing much else onto the background of this layout. It's going to go onto a white 12 by 12 cardstock, and I want this to really stand out and be a bit of a feature. I've got some other ideas of how I'm going to use it, so I know there will be some other pattern paper included, but I still want this to... Um, draw a bit of attention so yeah just chucking on the color going a bit crazy when I am finished with it I leave it to dry but I get impatient so I do get out the hairdryer and give it a bit of a zap just to so I can get going with this layout again I've got to try and get as many pockets of time as possible while my son is asleep so I'm just trying to get this all painted up and dry and moving on to the next part of the layout so once I have finished with all the watercolor and I'm happy with the way that looks I do get um, some Heidi shine and spray a little bit of gold Heidi shine on it just again to add a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of shimmer and shine when you are looking at it when it is dry and I think it looks really really cool I was really happy with how this finished up looking. Um, I've not done a huge amount with watercolors in this way and I was really happy with how easy it was and how good it looked. But as I said before, I did go back over some of the colors that I thought weren't quite as dark as I would like them to be. Um, the yellow really dried off to be quite dull and so did the sort of peachy skin color -y beige tone. So I did go back through and darken that up a little bit. And then yeah, just a bit of spray of the gold Heidi Shine to give it some shimmer and sparkle. And then it's all dry, check it out. <gasps> Pretty. And you can see that it's shimmering under the light. So I'm going to be putting that onto a 12 by 12 page. And this layout becomes a uh, try and use up as much as possible from some old Kidaholic kits kits so I think this kit here I'm using is my very first kit I ever got from July 2016 so over a year old now um, so I'm just trying to use up as much of the pattern papers as I can so this is going to back the photo with a lot of colors we had white then we had gray then we had pink then we had green and now I've just pulled this navy blue from my stash just to tie in the colors that my son is wearing because I thought that was cute. This one I think is from December or January, January um, Kidaholics kit. Uh, just again using up as much of the pattern paper that I can. So those are the two kits that I'm using. I'm just trying to get 
through as much as I can of what is left over from those kits. There's not a huge amount, but I'm just a bit stuck with the supplies I have left. So I'm just trying to use as much as much out of those as I can. And then I've decided whatever is left from those two kits now, I'm just going to um, mix those in with my stash from now on because there's not really enough to do a whole layout anymore. And I just, the way I have my kits displayed, because I don't use my kits all up in my within a month, I've got a, like a magazine holder and I have them all stacked in the magazine holder and so it only holds 10 kits and I actually have more than 10 in there at the moment. This is how bad I am at using my kits. So I've decided these two need to get out. They need to be mixed in with my stash so that I've got enough room for the next month's kit that will be arriving any minute now. Um, so these, cut up, uh, these embellishments are from, yeah, the gen it must be February kit actually because this is all a Valentine's Day collection um, and that's why I hadn't been able to use it because I, my husband and I don't celebrate Valentine's Day so we didn't have anything Valentine's-y to use all this um, all the things that said February and things like that for. Uh, so this photo isn't from February this photo is from January last year so oh sorry this year January, but January still nonetheless so I'm just using as much of sort of the lovey-dovey you and me and I love you stuff as I can to go with my son and my husband because it still suits and it still works and I'm just just decorating that top left and top right hand corner I seem to do that a lot at the moment I just find it's complimentary and sometimes I will do a third little embellishment cluster but it doesn't really need one seeing as the, the circles are all there as well now I don't think I did it on camera but I have gone ahead and stuck down the circles the strips of paper the photo and all, all everything on the screen has been stuck down now except for the embellishment clusters and that's what I'm obviously working on now so some things I do pop up um, using the pop dots other things I just keep flat I didn't pop up the photo. It was on so many layers of card that it almost had um, a popped up dimension to it anyway. So yeah, I didn't actually put any foam dots behind it this time. Um, so yeah, I'm just having a fiddle, having a play, trying to get these embellishments sort of as close as to how I had them planned out as I can. I'm not 100% in love with this layout. I think putting that strip of love heart paper sort of detracted from the beautiful circles that I spent so much time decorating and painting. But I am really happy because I also managed to use so much out of those two kits in terms of the pattern paper because I had so much pattern paper left and I didn't want to just pop it into my scrap bin without really giving it a good go. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. I do like the look of the sketch of the the layout. I think the the all the different colors in the hearts really appeals to me and I love the way that that matches in with all the rainbow colors I ended up using to paint the circles and then the gray in the hearts matches just the um one of the layers of the photos that I the photo backing or the photo layers that I've done so it all does tie in together which is pretty cute um then my heading there on top of the world I just stick that down off screen because you don't need to see that and I think I'm just about done putting on a couple of enamel dots and love hearts. Not too many. I don't want to. Um, I don't want them to be sticking out in random places. So I just keep them really close to the embellishment clusters and just have them be part of the embellishment clusters. Cover up the photo so I don't splash Heidi Shine on it and splash out a little bit of gold. I'm going to need some more gold very, very soon. It is clearly my favorite and gets used a lot. So here is the final layout and I think it is super cute. Part of that's just because the photo is divine. The other part is because there's so many awesome colors. I don't often use all rainbow colors on a layout. I tend to be a little bit more demure, I guess, or a little bit more um, 
using just a collection that already goes together. So it was a little bit of fun just having a play and using all random bits and pieces from both of the collections and from my, or both of the kits and from my stash. So I hope you liked this layout and stay tuned for more.